Hi, this is Emily Whitney, and I'm going to go ahead and explain to you how the commission summaries work. When you log in, it'll take you to the shop page, so go ahead and click over to your dashboard. From here, the first thing you need to know is that your LRP order, or your loyalty reward order, has to always be 100 points or higher. Here it says mine is 125, so I'm good to go there. Then if you go down, you'll see a snapshot of your earnings under this My Earnings box. The first one is a six week shot of your latest fast start bonuses. That's the bonus you receive when you enroll somebody or if you've shared with somebody that you've enrolled and they enroll somebody else, you get a percentage of that also. So this will typically range anywhere from $40 to five or $600 for me. Usually it's in the two to $600 range. The highest one I ever received was about $1,400. We'll talk a little bit about those in a minute. Down below it is your Unilevel history, the last six months. It's got a snapshot of that. I noticed with my Unilevel, it kind of stays in the same area and then it will jump up to a new level. So this is since I hit Diamond, it jumped up to the twelve dollars to $15,000 range. So I'm going to go ahead, if you, if you hover over these dots, it will tell you what the amounts are. And then when you click on them, it will open up your commission page in a new window or it'll download it for you. So if you go ahead and open up this commission page, there's a lot of information here. I'm gonna go through it really quickly so you can understand what it means. At the very top, it'll say your beginning rank, your paid rank, and your end rank. Now if you promote, it will have your beginning rank up here and then the new rank as your paid rank and end rank. Every now and then, some people don't hit their rank that they're at, so if you're a platinum, for example, but you only hit silver, then it would say that your beginning rank is platinum and that your paid rank would be silver. You're gonna be paid on whatever level you hit, even though you'll still be recognized as a platinum or whatever level you are. This top part is kind of an overview of what's going on with your account. It's not quite as important, so I'm gonna come back to that later. If we scroll on down, this is quite long, so we'll just pick a page and go through it. Let me explain to you what each of these sections mean. On the left, it says Unilevel Commission. The ID is the member's wellness advocate ID, then their name. It's going to tell you the level that they're on in your organization, so exactly where they are, how many levels down they physically are from you. So then if you go over, you see this PLVL, and that's the paid level. We'll talk about that in a second. Sometimes it's different than the level they're on. The next one is GQV, and that's for Group Qualified Volume. That's the amount of PV that that person has ordered. And then the GCV is the Group Commissionable Volume, and that's how much of their volume is actually commissionable that you're gonna earn a percentage on. The percentage tells you the percentage of commission that you did get on it. The bonus will tell you how much your bonus was that you got paid on them. Now this CONV, that's the conversion rate. That's only gonna apply if you have people that are in different countries because the dollar might not convert exactly. So this 1.25, that's a pretty good conversion rate. Uh, in this case, it's people in Europe. The bonus would have been 967, but with the conversion rate, I get a little more, 1209. There are some, though, that it's a lot less. Like down here, I've got a 0.07. But for the most part, you're going to have one straight down the page for everybody that's in the U.S. Then this is the final bonus you get paid. So if you look here on the right, you'll see that how it pans out is it's not a get rich quick scheme. It's kind of like if you sign up one person and they bought a million dollars, you'd only make a small percentage on it. So that's not the goal of this business, the business side of doTERRA. The goal is the more people you help and the more people you educate, the more people that are meeting their needs, they will be ordering regularly and you'll make these small amounts off of them, but over the long run, it will add up to a large volume. So that is the Unilevel volume and that's where the bulk of our paychecks usually come from is that Unilevel volume. So it's kind of goes hand in hand. The more you're out there helping people and educating them, the more that you will get paid through this Unilevel volume, but it's not a huge amount on any one person. It's just a bunch of small amounts that add up over the long run. Um, down here, these are some of the biggest amounts on my check this month is the $62 and the 111. And they came from two local health food stores that are ordering products to sell in their store. So usually it's a lot smaller, like these $200 and $100 orders, and we get anywhere from a couple dollars to 10 or $20. And it's just the mass quantity that adds up over a period of time. So if we go down to another page, 
Here you can see the difference between the level that they're on and the paid level. So doTERRA has this awesome part of their compensation plan that is known as dynamic compression. And basically what that means is we get paid down to seven people in our levels, but if there's somebody in the middle that's not doing that 100 LRP and doesn't get paid, instead of the company just, you know, tossing that commission out and keeping it themselves, they pay it out to the next person in line that is up for getting paid. So basically, here you can see the difference there. This person at the top is on my eighth level, so I shouldn't get paid on them because they're out of my seven levels. But since there's a handful of people in between us that are ordering, I'm getting paid on them like they are on my fifth level, and that's six percent. And actually, this whole page has a bunch of people on my eighth and ninth level, and on every single one of them, I'm getting paid on them still because somebody isn't ordering and they're bumping up to my fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh levels. So that's where dynamic compression really comes in and benefits us, is that the company is awesome. They pay out all of the commission to whoever qualifies to earn it. And so if you're ordering that 100, that puts you in line to earn the commission on the people who are enrolled below you. Now, if we scroll down to another page, every now and then you'll see a bunch of people where the qualified volume is there, but the commissionable volume is all zero. So these people are people that have just enrolled and they're within their 60 day fast start period. So their commission is being paid out through fast starts to whoever enrolled them. So you won't receive commission on those brand new people in your organization for the first 60 days and they'll still show up here with the volume that they've put in. They'll just show up as zeros because you're not actually making anything off of them. So those are all your new people and you should see them in your fast start bonus check. Now if we scroll down to the end, it's kind of long. Down here, near the end, you will see this three by three structural bonus. That's your power of three. So it's gonna show up as zero volume, but anybody that's in your power of three, be it the 50, the 250, or the 1500, they are gonna show up here and their orders are gonna say zero. They've already shown up above and that's where you got the actual unit level commission on them. At the bottom, they just show up if they're anywhere in there. And then at the bottom of all that list, it'll say, your 1500 or your 250 or your 50, whatever you earned. Now here's the overall snapshot. That's right here, that three by three structural bonus. That's your power of three. You can actually earn that more than one time. So if you were to build out again, you could earn an extra 50 on top of your 1500 or an extra 250. I do believe that you have to have a solid 1500 before they'll pay you on the next set. Um, but that's gonna show up here in that three by three structural bonus. Now this is an overview, a summary of your whole bonus check, your whole commission check. The first one is retail profit. That's if you're selling it for retail through your website. If people just come and order, then you'll get that 25% here. I don't do that very often, so I don't get anything there. Um, the preferred member bonus, same thing. If you have any preferred members and they're ordering, you'll get a small percentage there of what they order and you can look into those programs separately. I personally think that wellness account is hands down the best account you can sign anyone up on, so that's the one that I use because I want them to be taking advantage of that loyalty reward program, and I want them to be part of my team, so that's what I use. That's where this Unilevel Commission, those are all your wellness advocates, what they've ordered and your small percentage off of each of the orders. Then that structural bonus. The leadership performance is for those that are in the ranks of silver, gold, and platinum. I've pulled up an older check up here, so let's switch over to that. This was when I was platinum and paid at platinum. So if you look down here, that leadership performance was 1452. And then up here, it'll tell you I had 10 shares. So silvers get one share of that pool, and golds get five, and platinums get 10. So it doesn't tell you the actual individual share, but you can go ahead and figure it out by just dividing that 1452 by the 10. So those shares are about $145 each. Pretty easy. Then if we go back to this check, you'll see the diamond performance and the diamonds. So once you get into the diamonds, you start dipping into these bigger pools and those are really exciting and fun to be a part of. So the first one is the diamond performance pool. And that is for all the diamonds together, they all share it. It's 1% of doTERRA's overall commissions. And so if you're a diamond, you get one share of that. If you're a blue diamond, you get two shares of that. And if you're a presidential diamond, you get three shares of that. So that one's up here on this other page. 
Here's my one share under the GCV, and the one share is $17.59, so pretty awesome share. If you have somebody that promotes to Premier in that same month, then you would get a bonus share for them here. And same with, if I switch back over to Platinum, if you were to have somebody promote to Elite in this month, then you would get a bonus share here. So if I had someone promote to Elite, then I would have gotten 11 shares of that, and they would have been a little bit higher. So back over here to the Diamond shares, one share of that first one is $17.59. Now these shares are very variable. They change every month depending on how many people hit diamond and how many people they're dividing that share up and then how large the sales are for that month. So that one changes, but it's always, you know, kind of in the same ballpark of around 15 to 1800 from what I've seen so far. Then these next diamond, blue diamond, and presidential, those are the bonus you'll get for being in each of those rank. I'm in a diamond rank right now, so I'm going to get that diamond bonus. If I were to promote to blue diamond, I would get it for blue diamond, and I wouldn't get it for diamond. So you're only going to get one of those shares, depending on what rank you're at. So this diamond rank is 1% that only the diamonds share and everybody gets three shares. And then same thing, if you enroll somebody who promotes to premiere that month, then you're gonna get a bonus share. So that one's up here. Then if you go down to the bottom, this is the total, then minus the transaction fee. If you have direct deposit, then they're gonna withdraw 50 cents as kind of a processing fee with each check that they deposit. If they are printing you out and mailing you a check, it's gonna be a $1.95 fee to cut that check and mail it to you. So if you want to save on that one, you can go ahead and apply for direct deposit. Then down here, this minus other withholdings, that can be a couple things. Um, there are clawbacks, and clawbacks are when people return product or exchange their orders and you've already been paid on it. So if that commission changes, they will claw back the commission that you earned on it. This honestly shows up here and there, and it's usually not that much money compared to my overall check, so I don't really stress about it. You can see the individual clawbacks up above. So if we go back to the top, ooh. if we go back up to the top, here you can see I had a negative 82 balance when I started, and this is where this top part comes in handy. It's a little bit confusing. You have to kind of be a detective to figure out where everything fits in. But right here it said I had Unilevel clawback. That was 63 cents. This Emily Whitney, this was my um, LRP order, so it was 10.52, and then they minus that out. Here's another clawback of 28 cents. This was a fast start check. So this is kind of like your balance of in and out of what you're paying, what they're paying you, and what's going on. So here's my 50 cent bonus check fee. And then here's another fast, oh, this is the fast start payment that goes with this one up here. Uh, here's a Diamond Club sponsor. So this 82.15 is probably this 81.87, which is what I paid to support somebody in Diamond Club this last month. And then here's a couple more clawbacks. Here is a secondary bonus. This is actually what they paid me. That goes together with the check fee. And then another bonus check. And then another little clawback for $9. So you can go through this and kind of see, you know, what you've paid, what they've paid, what you've earned, what they've taken out with the 50 cent bonus fee. This is kind of like your account balance that goes in and out. And you can actually see this under account inquiry in your regular account. It'll pull up all of that for the whole last year if you want to look at what's gone in and out of your account. So let's go ahead and back to our main page. From here, if you want to click on one of your fast start bonuses, it will also open that up in a new window or save it. So same thing here, you can see the back and forth. If you look at these people, you've also got your qualified volume and your commissionable volume. This is similar to the other check, except the percentages are higher because this is the fast start one. So for this 20%, those are people that I enrolled personally. The 10% is the, is the part of the check I get if someone that I have shared has shared with someone else. So that's kind of like a once removed enrollment. I get 10% on whoever my leaders share with. And then the 5% is one more deep, where if those people share with somebody, I get 5% on that. So the nice thing about these fast start checks is that it kind of adds up. If you're enrolling people and other people are enrolling people, then it adds up together to a nice weekly check. 
So here's another 20% and I got this little bonus on them and that adds up to about $325. Another little clawback and a 50 cent fee. The Fast Start checks have been really awesome. I get one every week. It's I haven't missed a week in years and usually it ranges anywhere from as low as 50 to 60 bucks, but more commonly it goes from 200 to about $800. The highest fast start bonus I ever got was around $1,500. That was an awesome week. But these are kind of cream on the crop. I especially use these to help with samples and oils to give away to other people. But these come weekly and you must have your LRP at 100 to be able to get paid them. And they're in addition to that monthly check. But the monthly one is usually where the bulk of your unit level is gonna be and everything. So if you check your My Earnings, this will often show up before it's deposited into your account so you can kind of see it a little bit early before they release it. To go back and see previous statements, you can go down here to the Commission Summary or you can go to Wellness Advocate Services, click on Commission Summary. So here's the new Commission Summary page. I'm really excited about this because they actually just revamped it. It used to just be some pull down menu that had a list of all the payments that you've had over the last year or two. And now they have this wonderful graph so that you can see exactly how you're doing in the year. See that pattern of jumping up with new ranks and then leveling out and then jumping up again. Up here on the right, it has the year and it will actually go back up to five years so you can see what you were making previously and compare it, so that's exciting. And then this primary over here, this means this is your actual commission statement that comes out once a month, anywhere between the 15th and the 20th, usually closer to the 15th. The secondary, these secondary earnings are from the fast start bonuses, so if you got paid every week, you'll have 52 of them, one for each week of the year. You can see that they're all over the place. It really just depends on who you're sharing with. The lowest one down here is about 48, and then the highest is close to this 1,200. If you hover over the little dots, it'll tell you exactly what you made each month, or you can come down here and scroll down and see them individually. This breaks it down from the period. They're broken down in which period of the year it is, uh, the earnings you earned in that period, the fees associated, anything withheld, that's gonna be things like Diamond Club payments or check payments or clawbacks if somebody returns something, and then the final check amount. So kind of exciting. You can graph and track everything that you're doing and what you're getting paid for the work you're putting in there. And then the last cool thing is that you can go and you can click on any of these individually. So you can pick any of these and it will give you an overview of that specific check. So you can see what your unit level commission was, your structural bonus, here I got that 1500 plus the 50, uh, your diamond performance, any of your pools, or you can download the PDF and look at that sheet that we looked at at the very beginning. But I thought this was kind of fun that it's got this graph here. So a lot of new tools that help us see and track it better. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for future videos and feel free to share this with your teams. This is Emily Whitney helping you take control of your family's health care.